This is my four. This is my five slash ten slash twenty twenty four market daily bias. So the four hour looks bullish. The one hour looks bullish as well. What we could do is go both sides. If this market, if the market goes up here to the huge accumulation area, give me some sub movement. I think I'm. Lo I might look for a fifteen minute market leadership to the downside. But if it looks like a fast movement, I'm probably looking for a, a five minute market leadership to the downside. Then go down here to these lows, to retracements. If we go to the one hour, to the buy side, they can push it up to here, to the auto block, which has not yet touched yet. We could basically go with out of this. We have an hourly auto block, we have an hourly for value gap. And I think I marked this wrong. I, oh my God. Let's make another one. So and I mean, we got more for value around here, but the less likely chance of it going down here is really low and we have this buy side liquidity right over here inside this huge variety gap now let's go to 30 minute now let's mark the market sessions right there the recent session at 3 a.m was over here and the what was the 20 right here we started right here, so the low was all the way down here, and the high is right up here. So for this, so this right here would be a great retracement down to this darker gray box. I don't know if it's gray, but a box. It's a greater press like to get it into, yeah. And we have this that we could retrace to. I mean, what we could do is basically on gold since i'm bullish right we could basically go sell from here so basically sweep out these highs right here right and go basically go down possibly touch that auto block then you can go down but it depends on how he gives us right if he goes down here this to this auto block i would want it likely to go here sweep out these lows and possibly touch this zone and go back up to these highs and first take profit and the second take profit would be if we go back to the hourly it will be somewhere these highs. Let me just put down all these buy side liquidity. I'm saying because it's a huge auto block, so it should be a huge play to the upside. So like yeah, right there goes for TP one, TP two, TP three, TP four. That's all we could do. Depending on how the how the market gives us. Now, if we go to back to one hour, is that I mean you're not gonna retreat all the way down here. So now, if we go to the XY, four hour looks bearish, and one hour looks bearish as well. I think so. It should be yep. So when when it's going down, we go up. So that's a good thing, right? That's a good indicating move. So basically, what we could do, we trace to, we could possibly we sweep all these sweep all these highs again. Then go down, touch this huge accumulation area. I mean, we have this thing, but if you go to the higher time frame, we have a breaker block. And we have a huge order flow to the upside, which swept all these highs. So, order block racks. Now, if you go to 30 minutes, 30 minutes, I can't count. We're just going to do the high time for my power. We could possibly go touch this other high if you really like to. This other, this other like, algorithmic auto block that, left, that was left out. So, for gold, what do we want? We could go basically both sides, but I mainly want to look for buys, right? So, I'm basically one that I wanted to go down here, see what happens around here. Then go back up to these highs and these highs and these highs. For if he if he get a, if I get a sub movement, I might have to look for more confluences before going down. But I definitely need to go get a, a sweep of these highs before going down to the the sub movement. This is my five slash ten slash twenty twenty four market daily bias. Thank you for watching. I'm bullish on gold and bearish on DXY. Thank you for watching.